right now, and then you can have this additional pressure that starts to build up on you. So Titan, they get the, the you know, air quotes, easy start here. They're going to be starting on the CT side after a fantastic duel between Existence and Seized to win that knife round. So what do we see from them already as far as the gear is concerned? Quite a decent spread, actually. <laughs> well, we'll see whether Edward gets his ace again. That's all, <laughs> all we could see. They've given him the Tech-9 again. So this time around, it's going to be a lot more drawn out ace if it happens. Apex actually left alone. And there is three members of Navi over on the A side, but looks like they're going to back away from main. It's kind of a similar pistol they did on, on Mirage, where they put three, three guys on the, uh, on the B side, one alone, Apex was alone on the A side as well, and Existence just trying to get some information in middle, and uh, that is going to direct their actual uh, rotations. Uh, one thing to note is that Guardian's been dropped to P250 as well. So there's also, you know, this used to be like the, whoa, you know, P250 armor. This is really strong in pistol. Now, of course, you can one-up it with the Tech-9. But, you know, Guardian also showing that he's been, he's quite capable at using that, uh, that skillful pistol. Well, Existence hasn't shown himself, hasn't peaked. He's just listening in that mid and covering off short, waiting for someone to push through. Now he's going to hear them pushing through. Titan are actually in really good position for this attack. And this is the, they're actually going to run right into the stack. This could work out perfectly. RPK and Kenny do manage to pick up two kills, but then they're instantly returned. Funny name coming in from Existence, however. And so he's, he's going to get slapped down by Maniac. All in the space of, what, five seconds? It's just both teams, this car crash, this just yep. complete and utter destruction of, like, rending metal and, well, flying shrapnel, essentially. I mean, there were basically four members on the B side. Uh, with Maniac actually pushing back their existence, has the time to actually be two members defending the B side, even when RPK and Kenny S went down. So it's like they're facing two, two players and then two more. I mean, how do you look at that when you go into a, a replay? When, when you're obviously seeing that, clearly you've been read, your situation's been read. Do you think, we just didn't get enough information at the start, we didn't peak the angles enough, we just didn't, we didn't have a, just basically an open look at A-Main? But it's very, very hard to actually get uh, information on the T-Pistol. You don't want to challenge too many ct pistols. Actually, this is just a completely clean up, clean up here from uh, Titan Great and Hiko. There were actually three members already on the A side. Exactly. Titan are like, well, we just demolished them on B and the pistol. They're probably going to go over to A again. A right call for Titan. Existence on point right now. Stacks three people up there, and it's the slaughter. And Navi just, they, they are actually going to go for some kind of quasi-buy? No, they're going to go for a, a buy here. And it's not going to be the best one just because they haven't had that many kills. Pistol round and second round have been pretty dominant for Titan. So it's going to be a very light buy coming out here from Navi. Yeah, somewhat delayed approach as well. What there was uh, two or three of them sticking what? around. Why are they saving money? Yeah, well, exactly. If you're going to buy, just fully commit. They're actually, there's three players still with like 15, nearly 2,000 They're going to go for a double buy, I think. I think they're going to drop AKs the next round as well. Okay, then. This is a very interesting approach. Well, Maniac's actually the only man on A. RPK's about to move back up there, and so is Kenny S. So I'm guessing they've heard footsteps over on the A site that's given enough warning for Titan to push out. Their existence left himself all alone on the B, while... This is the right read once again from Titan, and if Navi go for this play, which they are lining up for, I can see the smoke's going to come out from, I think it's seized at the back there, yeah, the smoke's going to come out, there it is, popping out, and it's completely read perfectly by Titan. Yeah, they have four people here in position already, Kenny going to be holding the close angle onto A-Main from behind forklift, and he's going to just instantly catch out Edward, backs off, changes up his position, in the meantime his teammates just trying to shred Navi as they push onto this site, and that's exactly what's going to happen, double kill coming through with the MP7, and then Apex mopping things up with that M4. I mean, when that push came through, there were basically four Titan members actually holding that push, and we see it. They're actually going for a, like an AK. I guess Flamey will have a Tech 9. Yeah, but very they can, low name. They can only force smokes. Yeah, there's, there's one flash, two flashes. Okay, Flamey just picked one up as well. But that is it. Head, head armor, of course, as well for the AKs. But yeah, strange setup last time. But, <laughs> but yeah, as you just pointed out, hell of a lot of incendiaries for Titan. And already, Maniac's got himself his first of the round. This time, Navy. Going with a little bit more of a split approach, but again, they are completely smoked off. And they are looking for anything, anywhere to go. At least they recover the rifle so that Flamey has some firepower to, to play with now, but that's insanely frustrating when Maniac just comes through that they smoke like that. It's a very tricky play to counter, and Navi now gathered up in mid. They've got Flamey making his way up to A site with the bomb, but there's more than a minute left, so this is, might as well be a lifetime where, not, where Navi are concerned. They could be taking all day. Apex controlling mid from Sandbags is going to take out Zeus. That's the initial frag going his way. Edward, however, does return. So only a man advantage maintained here for Titan. Yeah, and uh, I'm actually a bit... 
I'm not sure what the plan Kenny is. Kenny looked now. away. He gets the kill on, on Kenny S, and this is huge. They have very slow rotation. It's actually only Maniac here. But he manages to get one, pops out from Nuke. Edward's going to get back around the backside of him, but he's ready for it, but he manages to take his head clean off his shoulders. The smoke will go down, and Navi now looking to get that planted, but, well, they might not need it because they've already taken existence down. RPK pushing up in towards the smoke. He's got one over on quad, one at forklift, and he's going to choose to go up on high, but already this is going to get spotted out. Sees just waiting. That is going to be right on top of him. It's going to force him to shift his position. Just adjust slightly. Edward has the perfect angle dropped. He's going to drop straight in towards Edward. And Edward, well, picks himself up four in that round. It was a slow approach, and after losing that one man at the start, you felt that once again Titan had the better of him. But Navi, this time, took the slow approach through mid and took over control, wrestled it out of the hands of Titan. It was basically just Edward winning his one-on-one -on -one duels and pushes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They were basically would cease getting that uh, kill on, on, on Kenny S as well. That was basically a switching point, but uh, didn't actually feel like Navi knew exactly what they were doing that round. Not at all. And what I'm really surprised to see is just how much... I emotion. love that boost. Yeah, it is a sick boost, but just how much emotion Maniac is showing. Like, he slammed his desk after losing the duel versus Edward and then just proceeded to type out a novel, and he still hasn't stopped talking. So Maniac really showing quite a bit of emotion. And that's, that's not exactly what you want to be seeing. You want to be see, you know, keeping it calm. This is only one round that has gone Navi's way. You shouldn't be getting frustrated quite yet. Murder, she wrote, by Maniac. <laughs> and, uh, well, yeah, we'll see. That's, I mean, just... You know, I'm just kind of surprised by that. Well, Navi once again going to slow things down. Smokes are dissipating in the mid, and Edwin once again is up on boost. It worked out well for them last time around. Let's see if he can do it again as... A-Main is going to get crawled towards. Apex is going to step away, but remember, they boosted Maniac up for this one. And Flamey's going to check this corner. They, they know, Navi know that Maniac favors this. If they do not check this corner, it's a massive mistake on Navi's part. Oh, I thought he was going to get away with it. They do manage to check him, but it was only the second person coming through. And that's going to be the A-site opened up. Kenny S and RPK making their way across, but sees might catch one of the crosses there. Just gets a glimpse of it, gets a run down. We'll try and get the second as well. They're going to challenge him. And seized. well, not going to work out for him. Kenny S has managed to get two down. Meanwhile, as he pushes on through, hops around. Seized will get that finally. The second chance of asking existence. Knows his position. The grenade was beautiful, but... Flamey, unfortunately, had the position. A lot of people lost for Navi, but once again, they pick up the round, and that actually may cause a problem for Titan here. Yeah, just uh, getting those picks, they actually... I mean, as you say, really, really good actually checking that corner for Maniac. That's how they usually play Titan. They kind of put him there, and uh, they want to uh, gamble somewhere. So they gamble three people actually on the B side there. Um, but now he's basically only gone for A at this point. Let's see how that, if that continues. As much as I like to say it, the fact that I, even I know he does that play means that now we absolutely know he does that play. You know, that's the main thing. And you really do get surprised now when teams get caught off guard by that because it really is. It's almost like Shroud Cloud 9. You know, it's just like you have to check that corner because he really does favor that position. And it's almost something where you, know, you really do need to start changing up on Titan's side as far as your A hold. But not to throw him under the bus, it was also just a very thorough play put out there by Navi. Hmm. And we have four members surviving here for Navi at the end of that e anti-ego. So solid work by Navi. They're the ones who are now starting to turn things around as far as the money is concerned for themselves. Whereas Titan, their backs continue to be against the wall here after that three-loss streak. They're finally going to be able to get a buy together. But again, very limited nades, skimping on the helmet armor, and not a single kit picked up here. So they really do need to stop Navi from getting a bomb plant in this situation without a kit for the defuse. I'm actually surprised they're not opting for any change up in the... They're playing a 2-1-2 two, two, uh, with Apex getting that information. Ooh, this is exciting. Boosting all the smoke. Uh, but I kind of want them to see, like, uh, to have more men in middle to kind of pick off uh, Navi and get faster rotation to both sides instead of kind of gambling uh, as Titan has been doing. Once again, Navi looking for the slow approach. Edward's been on this boost the last few rounds, and it's worked out well for Navi. Titan is covering off as deep as he can, and, well, Guardian just comes straight across. 
takes him clean off and that's complete mid control lost Kenny S realizes it backs away Maniac all alone smoked off on a site as well but he may push into that smoke he's expecting someone to come creeping around but that's not where Navi are going they're going through to B yeah, this is a very clear thing. It seems kind of telegraphed here by Navi what their intentions are. Kenny, da he's dancing around in connector. He needs to win that duel, and he's not going to get it done. Edward is going to eviscerate him, and now it's RPK in existence. RPK in his usual spot. He is going to get taken out. It's down to existence now to lock down this site, and he is not going to last. Four members alive here for Navi as they walk onto the B site. Maniac trying to do the best that he can, and he's Jansen as best he can as well, but it's not going to be good enough. Can't get around that corner fast enough to take the duel versus Zeus, and he gets overwhelmed. Navi are getting way too much momentum now. They, yeah. they, they're going to constantly just continue to break Titan's economy if it keeps going this way. I really, really liked what they did in the middle. They <coughs> challenged, they went out, took control, and... I mean, they kind of cut off the rotation for, uh, for Titan, and they had to like, have played two and two, which is like the worst thing you can do as CT, is hold, like, split off the defense. You actually have to take a gamble, maybe go free towards B and having one information player. Uh, like checking, just standing car and checking if they're actually going A, a and make, make a retake in that case, or even have the possibility to save the guns. Edward's going through vents, they managed to make the way through into checkers. Seized also got a glimpse of existence. That grenade is going to be right on point. That will take him down. And again, Navi make the way in towards B side. They haven't breached it yet. And Flame is actually the man around mid. Kenius is going to try and loop around the back of him, but is he going to get there in time? Maniac comes around, but this has to be fast play. Kenny has to start making tracks because Navi are slowly picking him off. Does get around, but the surprise factor is too late. Zeus expected that. And Navi do pick themselves up. A fairly clean round there. 5 3 now. Five rounds back to back on the T side for Navi. You can, just, well. you can see the, the power of the Molotovs in those anti ecos, like throwing and forcing them out. Even though it seemed like it was a dangerous position for Navi, they, they still make it out when picking up the kill on their RPK there. And I'm seeing, uh, well, what I see there from how quickly Kenny was pushing in is, I don't know if it's like a lack of trust in his teammates to buy time for him, because Zeus heard those steps. That's the issue. Yeah. Zeus hears those steps that close. So that's why his flank doesn't work. Zeus is going to be able to just set up and win that duel. So if Kenny could have started walking a little bit sooner, right, maybe his flank would have been more effective there. Of course, you know, these, this is a matter of split seconds, and in that call, you know, you're just going to go for it. Uh, Titan really trying to force things right now, and they need, they need to start slowing down a little bit to find themselves again. They're keeping the same setups, like 2-1-2. Two, two. It feels like they should change things up, maybe go for a double off setup and uh, and go for the picking style, like an anteing the picking style of, of Navi, who's been really, really good at, at getting picks and control over middle. Look at this, though. Four players on the A site right now from Titan. After pushing two into A main to take a fight to try and get some info, now they rotate them back to the B site. But that's kind of all the information they need. I think it was Maniac and Apex. They both got flashed out, checked A main, realized it was completely clear, which is why we've seen RPK and Apex just make track straight back to this B site and stack up. But they're in time. This is, might well work for them. Maniac's going to find himself head to head with Seized. Edward is also there. Zeus goes down. And this has worked out very well for them. Flamey and Navi have completely changed directions. He's alone. He's alone. Flamey is alone right now. He needs somebody to back him as they go through this. Flash into A main, and that's going to be Kenny trying to peek to get some info. But Kenny, he's, I mean, Kenny's got the sight right now. He's the, he's the man who needs to hold, and he is going to be able to do that because Seized is going to get taken out in turn. Flamey does take out Kenny, but then Apex comes back into it, and Flamey is actually going to be the man to get the bomb plant at the last possible second. I, I don't know. That's just like a complete and utter... That's a weird tornado, round. Whirlwind, right? Yeah, exactly. Maniac getting the two kills on short as well is just wild. It seems like Titan actually makes a gamble rotation there because Maniac is actually not staying into that A main to get that early information. If they would have come back, maybe they jumped down boost because it's not actually that common to stay in A main uh, uh, like at that point of time. Like you drop down boost and maybe slowly walk into A main to get ready for an execution. But they don't have that information. It was kind of a gamble rotation from, uh, from Titan in, in my opinion. Well, for the fact that they had flashed themselves out to main and just right, okay, let's everybody back to B. Let's just check short while we're there. They seem to work out well for them, that's for sure. Who knows what's going through the mind of existence. Certainly, he seemed to read that situation well, and it was the first rifle round for Titan against Na'Vi. They've made it able to buy straight back up here, as you would expect. Maniac once again goes looking on May main. This time he's going to get him in there. Something I have noticed actually is that Titan really don't seem to have any interest at gaining mid control. 
No, they just had a man spotting, and late round they just randomly rotate uh, the player towards either A or B. Mm -hmm. uh, now Maniac actually has that control, so it makes more sense, but still. He's taken it from the beginning. He's been just consistently smoking out here. Yeah, exactly. There's another one that goes down to block off the entrance to A main. So this is buying more time. With 45 seconds left on the clock, now it's up to, to for Navi to decide where they want to take this. Flamey is still lurking in Squeak Door. But the rotations is going to be so slow. If either one of these players get caught off guard, they're basically going to lose the round. Kenny S wins the duel with Guardian. Maniac also in main. Will get himself one, so... This attack, as you said, 20 seconds left on the clock. Edward picks up the AWP and makes his way up there, but he's going to find out Kenny S. Kenny S gets himself a second victim. Zeus, the last man, but he's going to run straight into Apex. And that was a good round for Titan. And Navi this time delayed. They went for their slower approach, and it's kind of backfired on them. They had four members in mid on Cash there. They could have gone either direction, but they instead ran, instead ran straight into Kenny S. I mean... I guess uh, theoretical counter-strike doesn't matter with, uh, with Kenny S in the lineup. <laughs> it's just good to see that he's still able to, to get those yeah. kinds of performances, right? And on CT side, that's where he should be excelling because he's just going to be able to hold these long lines and not have to go scoping around corners, which is how he you know, plays his T side. So good to see that that AWP is still having an impact and Titans certainly need him to be stepping up and delivering those kinds of multiple frag rounds. This is what I mean, though. Guardian and Edward have been boosting over that mid box. And every time, there's no one there to challenge them from Titan. There's no one there to even see them. Existence, though, is waiting in the wings. He's in the vents. He manages to pop out and get one, but they've completely given it up. Apex comes around. Guardian shuts him down. And again, Apex not having any luck this uh, so far. And Seas is actually going to catch up Maniac at Portland. KS is going to reply, but then Flamey is going to follow up on that. So good trade frags happening here for Na'Vi. Except that Existence is going to catch Edward, who's trying to lurk and catch the rotators. We're now into a two-on-two -two scenario. Guardian desperately trying to get up short to get in position to help his teammate. And he's going to make it in time. Just in the nick of time does he make a pass around that corner behind Forklift. They're, Na'Vi's actually playing like a good game. They're actually... They know how they play and actually they give they get into these two on one situation. They jump out of the smoke from A main. You gotta push uh This is very awkward for Guardian. This is very awkward for Guardian. He's not planted for him. Yeah, exactly, he's not planted. There you go. There's the flash. It's gonna buy the time. Does Guardian get on it? Two seconds left, one second! Existence is gonna make it or he is gonna stick that bomb plant. And get the kill straight afterwards. He managed to get everything he wanted from that one. That should not have been a Titan round after that opener. No, uh, Navi had full control over both middle and the A site. I'm not sure exactly what happened. They Flamey challenged. Yeah. Flamey challenged, I think. I think that's the one thing that happened there. Guardian, that bomb was not planned for him. They needed to keep Flamey alive on the site to keep eyes there. And Flamey, I think, took the fight in CT. And Guardian couldn't land that shot because he killed the guy who killed Flamey. So, and now the aggressive push here from Titan into B Hall is really nicely done. And that's, that's another thing that's being changed up here by Titan. They're willing to start pushing around on the map, applying really, the pressure. I really like that. It's a great decision. <laughs> really? This yeah. JW does that quite a lot, I feel, in uh, a main. <laughs> it's like, look at the map. Look at how little map control Navi has, because they, they think they need to re-challenge and actually take this map control. It, they waste like 20, 25 seconds just getting that kill as well. Flash around the corner now. They're going to check out Toxic, and they just go right into Toxic. No fear at all. Well, as you said, the 20 seconds has delayed. They've been looking at it. They've been staring at it. There was a lot of smokes that went down there. But they actually, I think most of them came out from Navi looking across their assortment. I didn't catch out whether they managed to stack them out. But here we go. Once again, Edward on the boost. Again, finding no one from Titan. And we'll see what they do with this one. This time it's going to be a B. The two looks like Zeus is going to go through vents. RPK has got himself tucked in the back of checkers. Apex finds Edward. So they're running into this one. Existence is ready. RPK is ready. And Navi, they're going to walk once again into a trap. Yeah, RPK, he's going to spring the trap right there from Checkered. But then Zeus comes in through vents. Bit of miscommunication there. RPK getting caught out. And they are going to be able to actually go into a two-on-two -two scenario here. Zeus getting the bomb plant, and once again, Guardian alive. AK in hand this time, but he hears the steps on upper, so now they know where Kenny is coming from. Kenny bungling that nade, but doesn't miss the shot. <laughs> and now it's into that two-on-one. Can Guardian get in the right position? Yes, he can. He gets the headshot, but not the trade kill. Maniac will come through, and he's got plenty of time. He's got so much time, in fact, he's going to go and run up there to save the, that AWP. Yeah, collect up Kenny's magic stick, and straight back, go for... 
Valuable seconds being lost there, but he's got a kit. He's safe. So 7-5 the score. Titan will pick that one up, and they've got themselves a little rhythm going here. Three rounds back to back, but that shouldn't be a problem for Navi. They can just buy straight back up over the top of that one. And let's see if they don't get drawn into any shenanigans down at B there. That quick push. I think it was, uh, was it RPK that pushed out quickly and got the kill? Uh, they made a two, two man push with Existence and RPK, I think. And they just backed off. Uh, I mean, after the death cam, it seemed like they had map control or actually were there. So Navi actually had to, to regain that map control. And eventually, they could just work off the uh, rotation. But some individual performances from Navi made that really, really close, actually. Look how aggressive Apex is going. Straight up, catches Guardian off guard the second that Molly turns. And well. Damage done, steps away, backs off, and again, Navi is just suddenly looking around going, what just happened, guys? How did we allow someone to get so close? Another falls over at B, another uh, A main. Maniac and Apex picking them apart, and Edward all alone in this one. This is going to force Navi down to an 8-5 situation, and Titan now starting to get some momentum going in this CT side. Yeah, they yeah. are recovering, and this, is a, this might buy them a little bit more time as well, because the money shouldn't be there for Navi to go for a reasonable buy after this if they don't get a bomb plant. So we should have a round of eco out of Navi, or at least you know a Tech 9, couple nade sort of buy coming into it, setting up so that Guardian maybe can get his AWP, and they can have a real shot at picking up a sixth round. He's actually going to save. That's not a bad call in the end if he can mm. live, right? I mean, Edward has enough. He has a smoke, he can get two flashes in the next round if he can live. So that's not the, yeah, that's not the end of the world. And let's see if they actually decide to buy uh, instantly and try to force the issue and get a, a couple of rounds, but... I mean, yeah, they'll get plus 3,400, sure, but I mean, that's, that's still just... Seems like he will survive as well. Yeah, they're not really going to hunt him down, it seems, too heavily. RPK is the man that's going looking for him, but he's a long way win. away looking at the map. So, 7-5. Could they roll it into a 9-5? That's the question. Titan up against just the one rifle. And more importantly, what are Navi going to do? They've got enough. Are they going to force it? You know, they're going for it. The Lil buys. That's it. Guardian skimping on the helmet armor. C is skimping on the helmet armor. But look at the nades. It's all about the YOLO running gun, guys. Let's see you. It seems like they're instantly going for some kind of A pressure very early on here. I think Kenny's peeking at the squeak as well, so they could find an angle there to work. They have flash, two flashes, one second flash on Deceased. We'll see if they use it. Maniac falls back. They, they catch out Kenny. They catch out everybody. In fact, the speed of this push really working wonders here for Na'Vi. They completely catch Titan out of position and off guard. And this has to be a round for Na'Vi. They risked it for a biscuit, and they do manage to pull out the round. Titan are on the retake, though. Existence and RBK. That grenade will manage to land on towards Zeus. And, well, look at that. Here we go. Two down already. Suddenly, we're all in a two-on-two. -two. RPK, that molly is going to push out. Flamey, though, is going to use the smoke to his advantage. He's got one man left. RPK runs straight across to Flamey. Good work from Flamey pushing through that smoke. Will manage to win the round for Na'Vi. Eight, six, final round. And, well, I think... Shouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah, they can buy straight back up. So, Titan are okay. Okay, nine six eight seven. Either way, both teams are probably going to be going to be okay with this. Yeah, uh, I think Navi is really really happy. I mean, they struggled on their T sides. Uh, the the other maps I've I've seen them on, and they're actually playing very well. And now we actually see a change of setup here from Titan. They pushed up three in the middle and actually going for this boost play. Oh, they're going for an envy boost. They're going straight through the smoke, and wow, Kenny just gets completely caught out. Guardian was ready and waiting for it. That's like the control mid by Envy, right? Where they, you know, they run so through their own Molotov. They had to have heard first upset, because that's literally the first time Titan have gone for that drop. The first time in 50 rounds. Although Edward caught sleeping there by Apex, Guardian does is in position to get the return frag, however. And three, four members here, three members here into A main, four Na'Vi. The fourth one is going to be closing ranks fairly soon. Maniac in existence. Existence up on high, hoping to catch them out, but he's only got a CZ-75. Tigris, a wonderful skin he's got on there, but Flamey instead is just drawing their attention while the rest of Na'Vi head tracks straight back to B, it seems. Are they going to go through vents? No, it's going to be a short push. CZ is going to get around the back of them, and Existence won't be expecting this one. Uh, look, he's checking, for, <laughs> he's checking for Maniac if he was boosted up in that corner. And I like that CZ is actually waiting for the other ones to rotate to his position before he actually makes the push. Maniac does catch him from quad. 
If he can get a second, it may well work out for him. Zeus, though, and Flamey move straight in. RPK had rotated, gets himself around there, but with that FAMAS from range, it wasn't strong enough. And it's 8-7, good half from both teams overall as we make the switch. And yeah, Navi could actually win this map. There's huge potential for this. Their CT side is okay. I mean, uh, they haven't, I haven't seen them play that much, but picking up nine rounds or eight, nine rounds on a, on a CT side on cash is like very, very possible. And I would, that would just be a shock for me, uh, Navi picking up this map. Yeah, Titan, everything. absolutely have to put everything into this pistol round. It worked out for them previously. They were the ones that picked up the opener and then managed to get those three rounds on the board, but not too sure. You know, this, is, this is, like you say, it's, this is a, a big ask for Titan. Remember, they are one map down. They lost 16-12 over on Mirage. Cash being Titan's map choice. Has that put them against them? We've talked about comms, how clear they can be. Has that maybe caused a few problems for them, losing, losing out so heavily? You know, you've you got to feel, if it's your map choice, you've got to be strong on CT. It, it just felt like Titan were gambling in, in a situation they didn't need to gamble. I mean, Navi took seven T rounds without the pistol. Yes, and one thing that I want to note, though, is that Titan have always been very strong on T-side cash. Yeah, So, you know, them losing, the, I mean, them not getting quite that many CT rounds, they've always struggled CT, or at least they've been struggling on CT side recently. Now they go into what I think is actually their stronger side. So it's going to come down to Navi to lock down these angles, and we are live now in the second half pistol. You say that, but... Uh, but a lot of that, the T side, the previous strength came from that was Kenny has jumping around main, making those maniac shots with the, the orb, and he hasn't got it in him. He's, he's clearly struggling with it. Let's get some game sound back in here because Tyne are back underway with the pistol against Navi here in the semi finals. Edward, well, he spotted someone squeaky already. And that's uh, going to be Edward already, yeah, exactly, just holding off on short. We have quite a, it's kind of a catch-all situation here for Navi, though. They're all kind of grouped around mid, ready to spring to A or B, depending on the information that they get here. Zeus is actually going to come back and close ranks with Flamey on that B site. But Guardian, Edward, and C is very quickly can they move to the A site if they need to. And look at this, Maniac is just the bait. He's just like, he's just this piece of bait. He's like, it's like a cat with a laser pointer right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Apex is going to run up. Oh, flying through the air. Manages to get Edward down with that Glock. Straight back around, expecting Seas. Seas the grenade going flying over his head. Will check someone in a truck. Gets a good tag on him as well. The Titan have got themselves the bomb planted. More importantly, they're running and gunning on Navi. But RPK is low on health. Seuss and Flamey trying to push up short. Doesn't get happen. Gets cut down. And Titan, what a brilliant pistol round for them. I think Navi just didn't know what hit them. Mm. And just go overrun in like five seconds. Everything just happened and, and just cleared out. And I think the first headshot actually made the difference. Uh, we're putting Guardian on low health, not being able to uh, help his man on short, just kind of destroyed the setup when he, ba when he was backing off. Yeah, the YOLO was strong in Apex that round, for sure. <laughs> like he, was, he was just primed and ready. And now they've just gone like full SMG Tech 9. They're not going to be holding back here at all, Titan. It's all about the run and gun. It's all about the early pressure. And they're going to be able to get onto this B site and get the bomb plan very quickly here. Kenny being thorough enough to check. Yep. I like that. He's not going to get caught off guard by anybody hiding behind a box. He takes his time, clears the site, gets the bomb plan. And now we have all three members from Navi rotating through the back line. They're looking through T-Spawn. In existence, he gets that info. I, they shouldn't get caught out here. I think they just don't want to give up any kills to those SMGs. Let's just hold on to these damn Desert Eagles. Maniac, though, has other ideas. I wonder... Uh, Titan are pretty low on health there. Unless Kenny Esco is looking, I think everybody else is happy to hold the angle. No, it's a little high. I do see Maniac is going to try and make a run for this one. Seas gets one, Seas gets two! Why are they challenging? Well, it, I mean, I guess they wanted that 600 bucks every kill, but... I, I'm pretty sure they're going to go Tech Nines anyway. Next round, they had the bomb, they got a couple of kills. Eh, I guess they felt it was worth. I suppose. It just feels, it feels odd risking, you know, throwing away the money when you can just save for free and deal with them the next round. I mean, the impact that Na'Vi have is pretty much like zero if they hold out to it back there. Now you've just spent a lot of the money that you made in that last round re-equipping yourself for this one. I don't know, Titan, Titan trying to go for a bully tactic, I think, and they actually kind of got slapped down. It's like in all those like revenge videos on YouTube, you know, of the bully and he just gets clocked <laughs> by this skinny kid. You know, that's kind of just what happened there. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure who the skinny kid is on Navi, but <laughs> they managed to clock him nonetheless. It is Maniac. I guess if Pasha was on the other team, maybe that may be the case. But uh, Maniac, oh, that grenade. Flamey did well to back away. 
They're going to keep the door shut back on him. Kenny S still holding on to that Mac 10, by the way, here in the uh, third round. They do realize, of course, that Navi are going to be on pistols, so hoping they could pick a couple more up as RPK peeks around with that Tech 9. We'll get Zeus down. And as of yet, Navi unable to get anything from this round. Titan are just picking him off at will. Ooh, Edward's head was so, so close to that door. Maniac peeks out. This time they do get the AK down. I think they're going to try and keep hold of it. Oh, they certainly will. I mean, they could actually try and set up to get more value out of this gun because they're going to be able to buy up the next round regardless here for Na'Vi. So if they can actually get another kill, couple kills in on Titan, I think they'd be well pleased with that. Edward taking that long-range battle. He's not going to have any luck this time around, and he will get caught out by existence. That was viable. That was viable that Edward just step forward and see if he can get Titan to, to get a little bit more... Uh, well, feel a little bit more pain in the pocketbook this round here. And, uh, yep, yeah, uh, Navi not having any AWP on the CT side here. I feel like AWPs on this map, like every position is super, super viable. Uh, and it's one of the most important tools for a cash game CT side, as well as T, to get those picks. Um, and we don't see one. And with very low nades as well on the Navi side. Yeah, that's the, my main concern. It's going to be really difficult to hold any kind of rush or push if you if you already used all of your smokes. You're going to have to rely on the flashes and just the straight elbow grease, I guess, or you know, crosshair placement there from Guardian, racking up a nice kill in mid. Well, I was about to say this is the difference between Titan and Navi. Navi holding that middle ground, but they've Guardian just got gunned down alongside Edward. Now Zeus as well. So. While they did try and challenge it, they've all been cut down in their tracks. Now Flamey all alone. He's trying to get around the backside, but RKBK unfortunately was ready and waiting for him. Kenny's rushing to get that planted as well, because why not try and get that little extra bit of money? But 12-7 Titan. This is starting to become a pretty good T-side start for them. They've got the first four rounds on the board as T. Yeah, I mean, they just walked out. I mean, they got four kills after like 30 seconds. Uh, because they could challenge for the map control so early with Navi not having any smokes to block them off. And that was just very, very risky, you know. It's, it's very hard to play with low nades on CT. And PK already pushing through, taking down Zeus and Flamey. Just the pistol sees does get around the backside. That's going to rescue an AK away from them. And he's already heading around the back. Where Kenny? did Kenny's op drop? I almost want to see them boost each other up to get that if they can. Like that would be that would be a really nice little detail to take advantage of if they could find that AWP. Well, at least he didn't go off the map this time. Like he did in the match the other day on Cobble. Seized is the one that's with the AK, but he's lost oh, that already. God. Apex does pop out. Edwards coming around. Well, Apex has already managed to rescue it. My mistake, my mistake. I thought that Kenny got boosted that round. Yeah. Edward, when he gets one through the vents there, it was RPK who's picked himself up a double in that round. They've done really good damage this round. Three kills, they didn't buy, make a force buy. This is actually great for money. They're keeping Titan's money relatively low, considering how many rounds Titan have picked up. It's like five in a row now for Titan. They've still got plenty. RPK, like yeah. 11k, that's, that's actually kind of scary. 9,000 as well on Kenny, he can buy ops all day. And it is a double up setup actually coming out from Na'Vi, so... This is no. something you've talked about a lot. It's like, if it's not working up close with the rifles, keep them at arm's length. Oh, God, Zeus as yeah, well with this. That's wild. Where is Zeus going to take this? I want to see him take it and hold, like, long A. Instead, he's going to go on to Zeus. Okay, he's going to go into mid, try and hold this angle. Guardian has actually got control of B halls, and he takes out Kenny. So there's that aggressive opping that just isn't working out for the Frenchman. This is, like, look, it's going to be so hard oh, for, they got him. for Titan to actually get ma map control. Well, I was wondering if they were going to be expecting that one, but they actually managed to get Zeus down. And we see Guardian rotating towards mid. That's left Flamey all on his own on this B site. We've got Maniac just causing problems over on A, but it's B site they're aiming for. Flamey does the damage, though. Manages to get Apex down. That's what slow things down. Existence and RPK now moving in sight. Guardian's rotating in towards CT. Gets flashed off from this one and smoked away. But he's got an angle. He's got an angle onto site, and they're going to have to back away from it. Look at RPK. He's making tracks. Apex. Maniac has made his way in towards A. So many things to talk about here as well. We'll have to hold out, but Seized is in the perfect position. He was in the perfect position to catch Maniac rotating out of Squeak as well, because Navi have done their homework. They know that Maniac goes Squeak door every single round, practically. Seized is now just going to lurk around here, but it seems like Maniac is wise to it. Doesn't matter, though, when Seized can hit shots like that. And now it's existence. 1v2 takes the fight versus Seized, and he's got 30 seconds left. Guardian not going to be in position to stop him, although he could actually cut him off. Existence doesn't even know where he wants to go. He's going to make the run to A, and Guardian, unfortunately, makes the wrong call, and he's going to have to come in on a flank behind him. But he knows it's A. He's yeah. going to get the angle, 
Existence is going to delay on this one as well. And Guardian's by getting all the time in the world to get back around to him. Has got the orbit in hand. There's the bomb plant. It's not going to be visible for Guardian, but as soon as he tries to make this cross, Guardian, no! He wasn't scoped up ready for it. And well, existence. You see the celebration coming out from Maniac. They know what that means. That is potentially map point for them. 14-7. This is going to be a, a forced buy from Na'Vi, and it's just a, a mishmash of what they can pick up. That was just great game sense from, uh, from existence. He actually just... Oh, he has to be from behind me. If he's not holding A, he saw on the death cam I was running A uh, first, so he has to be behind me in that situation. It's just very, very smart and calculated from existence to win that one we won. Maniac going to get traded up on the A there. Unfortunately for Navi, it doesn't go their way. They don't manage to get that clean. Although they do take little damage on Seas. They're already out of nades. They've got a single flash on Zeus, Navi, to stop this, this future push that's about to come into a site. So there really is not a lot to work with here. Titan, in the meantime, however, have spread out all over the map, in fact, and they are just taking their time with this. Seas is... Can they actually get... Oh, he stepped. <laughs> Gets the second chance. Kenny, yes, actually squatted for that one, made sure he made it count. But it does mean that Titan are on towards the site now. RPK picks up Zeus. Meanwhile, that's down over at B. But here on A, Guardian is trying to keep them at bay, but Titan are in. And now looking towards map point, Flamey, the soul man, trying to get that rotate down. Will manage to pick himself up Apex, but he's in an almost impossible position here. As Kenny has boosted up. Oh, he got a glimpse of his shoulder. And tagged up Kenny, forcing Kenny back. And Kenny missed the shot there, actually. Uncharacteristic of him for such a shot like that. Flamey is now going to try and pressure forward. He's just going to go for the run, but RPK gets flashed on short. That allows a... Oh, okay. RPK unflashed at the right time there. I thought that Flamey would actually be able to make the mad dash onto the site and pressure Kenny properly. But seven terrorist rounds in a row. Now he's... I mean... The biggest... Uh, <laughs> Semler's yeah. just basking in his glory, by the way, right now. You know, talking about T-side for Titan. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, Navi have been at, uh, at war with themselves. They even went for that double up and auto sniper yeah. in one round, and it just backfired on them. But nothing's really working for them. I think that that's was what it is. Basically, the closest round they had mm. of actually making something happen for them. Well, oh, well, here we go. The yeah. all-out unadulterated aggression from Navi, and it's well, okay. I spoke too soon because Kenny comes in and gets two kills. RPK and Maniac. What happened? Zeus is about to get flanked by RPK as well, but Kenny decides to get the kill first. And I got ahead of myself there. I thought that the ultra-aggression from Na'Vi would work, but that's not the case. Titan just closed down Cash. Yeah, that was solid. Eight, what was it, eight rounds back-to-back -back on... Uh, yeah, eight rounds, every single round on T-side. Beautifully done, Titan. Map three is upon us. It will be Cobblestone. And, well, I could go anyway, I feel. But overall, Cash, solid turnout from Titan. That's why they picked it. I mean... I actually feel like Navi could be a very, very good cash team if they actually just worked on their CT yeah. side. Uh, 